What is up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's defensive scheme of the week, we're using the Seattle Seahawks defense uh, of team, and we're using the um, Detroit Lions defensive playbook. Um, today's defense is going to focus on the 52 defense out of 5-2. Uh, that's what we're going to be focused on this week. We're going to bring you some fire out of 5-2 and uh, teach you how to defend those you know, spread sets with the 5-2 uh, front. So let's hop into that uh, real quick. Let me grab a spread play. And today we're going to show you the base play. The base play we like to use from 5-2. Uh, real quick, let me set my uh, little roster up here real quick. One sec, guys. But um, one of the plays we like to use out of the 52-D is the um, the base play that I like to use. Um, real quick, let me show you the audibles. Because you do want to have your custom audibles set for this, unfortunately. Um, what I like to come out in is the cover 3. And just mainly because it's our base zone coverage, it's also our base play. Um, and the main reason for that is because we like to run the 52, uh, but at the same point, we have to have all of our other plays in here. So you see our base run defense is a fire zone 2, man blitz will be the pinch, zone blitz will be trio sky, man coverage will be to cover 1. Um, so let's hop back into the base play, which is the cover 3. It's also going to be the base zone. Um, considered the flash blitz, but you guys probably can't make all those adjustments that fast. I'm not trying to be a... Me and D, I'm just trying to be some, give you guys something that's practical uh, and easy to use. So uh, here I want to come out in a passing play. So we'll just come out in the doubles. And we'll grab the play. Uh, we'll just show you a halfback circle here. So anyway, 5-2-D. Uh, what we like to do for our base play is we like to base the line. We like to press. Or excuse me, you don't like to press out of this. Do not press out of the 5-2. So we need to unpress. How do you do that? Um, okay, so there we go. Baseline. Um, you're going to shift your D-line to the left every single time. And you're going to crash your D-line up. And then what you're going to do is you're going to re-blitz Bruce Irvin. You're going to shift your linebackers to the right. And then here, we like to use your right in the A-gap like so. This is going to give you left, left edge pressure every single time. So you're going to start at the game uh, with left edge pressure pretty simply. Pretty simple. And what you can do is... What I like this about this cover three is I can do the disguise cushion technique, uh, where I put those guys in yellows and disguise cushion them. That way, if they throw like an out route or whatever, my guys are going to be down in the box. My guy will come down on that, and, and he'll just sit there on it and just make a tackle. Okay, so that's the basic front. Um, pretty simple, guys. Really not a whole lot of complicatedness. If you want to send it off the right instead, just reblitz the right linebacker. Maybe move him down a bit. Remember, you still need to stand over the center. It's so like here you send it off the right. That time you, you know, and there you go. And then real quick, if you want to send two-way, uh, we broke this down in Blitz of the Day. We should be breaking that down this week. But if you want to send the two-way, just re-blitz them both. Stand over the A-gap, and you should get a two-way blitz. And that's the basics of the cover three. That's how I like to use it, but I mainly like to use it for that base setup I just gave you. Base align. Um, do not press it. Shift your D line to the left, crash them out. Shift your linebackers to the right. Use a right in the A gap, and you're good. One thing you want to do if you want to, this is uh, advanced a little bit. If you just want to base align, um, excuse me, base align, and then what you want to do is on this play, if you just want to re blitz Bruce Urban and then stand over the A gap with the right to simplify the setup, you'll still get that heavy pressure. Um, the only difference is it doesn't come in against play action, and it also is, I mean, let's see, I think you can still run the right edge. Yeah, you can still run the right edge, but it doesn't set us up very good for our base pass defenses and stuff like that, so you want to—you just want to shift them to the left, just trust me. It's one adjustment, it's not that bad, um, you should be able to get all this in. So, that's the base play, guys, cover three, you got two flat zones, you got a hook over the middle. And you got pretty good pressure. So thanks for watching today. Be sure to leave me some feedback. Let me know what you think about the 5-2-D. Let me know what you think about my commentary. Let me know what you think about my videos lately. And let me know what you think about uh, the Seahawks. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to stay tuned for the rest of the scheme of the week. We're going to have heavy pressure coming out of the 5-2. Um, tomorrow we're going to be ba breaking down our base zone. I know some of you guys don't like the, the maximum coverage defenses, but that is something that you need to have in your defense. We're going to break it down. And you guys want to see this when this is a really good max coverage defense because of the pressure we're going to generate from only two guys blitzing. Thanks for watching today. See you tomorrow.